So we are looking at link budget. What is this link budget? Suppose uh, you have say hundred rupees or hundred dollars. Now you went to the market and you spend say twenty on stuff one, fifty on stuff two. So what is remaining? Hundred minus seventy that is thirty. So this is remaining. So if sender sends this much amount and receivers receive this much amount. This is the budget which we are talking about. The send power minus all the losses and the receive one. This is the link budget. This is the transmitter TX antenna. This one is the receiver antenna RX. A power transmitted PT. Power received PR through unguided media or free space propagation. Transmitter sends with some gain GT. And uh, receiver receives with gain GR, and in this sequence, some signal strength strength decreases due to path loss. Some out of phase reflected signal they may add to the main signal. This is all happening. Power in a wireless system, the same situation. Whatever we send, some is received because of path loss. There is degeneration in the strength. This is the EIRP. EIRP means the gain of the antenna plus the sent power or the power which is with power of receive uh, sent signal along with the antenna gain of the receiver. Now this is the receive power. This one is the receiver sensitivity. Receiver sensitivity is that threshold below which receiver will not receive or will not be able to uh, say find out the content of the signal. and this is the margin so this is the margin we are talking about this is the link margin and the budget of course all these inclusive so along with the distance some losses take place we carry out all these computation in db that is dbm decibel so in a wireless communication system the link margin which is measured in dbm is the difference between the receiver sensitivity that is the received power at which the receiver will stop working and the actual power received so receiver sensitivity and power received the difference is the link margin a 15 db link margin means that the system could tolerate an additional 15 db of attenuation between the transmitter and the receiver and it would still just barely work so it is a it is typical to design a system that at least few db of link margin should be there this margin to allow for attenuation that is not modeled elsewhere a system with negative link margin would mean that the system is insufficient to transfer data usually this means a better received is ne receiver is needed uh, with improves improved receiver sensitivity so the receiver sensitivity should be high if at all the link margin is low so when designing uh, a complete that is end to end radio communication it is necessary to calculate what is termed as the link budget so link budget enables factors such as required antenna gain levels radio transmitter power levels and the receiver sensitivity figures to be known and determined so by finding out or assessing the link budget it will be possible to design the system so that it meets its requirement and performs correctly without being over designed at extra cost it becomes crucial that the required signal levels are maintained to ensure that the receiver signal levels are sufficiently high above the noise level signal to noise ratio to ensure that the signal to noise levels or bit error rates are within the required limits however the uh, larger antennas they have high transmitter power levels that required uh, and, you know the cost is considerably high so it necessary to balance these to minimize the cost of the system while maintaining the performance also so what is ring budget ring budget is an accounting of all the gains and losses in a transmission system the link budget is can be written in this form received power will be equal to transmitted power plus the gains minus the losses so transmitted power added with the gains of the antenna both the antenna receiver and uh, the sender along with all the losses incurred and this losses may vary with time it may be fading and allowance must be made within the link budget for this often the worst case should be taken or alternatively an acceptance of period of increased bit error rate for digital signals 
or degraded signals to noise ratio to analog signals. So bit rate is taken for digital and uh, signal to noise ratio for analog signals. In order to devise a link budget equation, it becomes necessary to investigate all the areas where the gains and losses may occur between the transmitter and the receiver. Although we have guidelines and suggestions that can be made regarding the possible areas of losses and gains, each link has to be analyzed on its own merits. A typical link budget equation for the radio communication would look like, like this, where this PRX is the received power, PTX is the transmitted output power, DBM, DBM, and antenna gains, receiver as well as the, the transmitter antenna gain in DVI, you know, Gain is always with respect to the idealized isotropic antenna that is omnidirectional. And then we have this LTX and RTX, uh, LRX, sorry, that is the transmitter feed and associated losses, both for receiver and transmitter. LFS, this one, is the free space loss or path loss. And LP, these are miscellaneous signal propagation losses. They may be because of fading margin, polarization, mismatch losses associated with medium through which signal is traveling and other losses. And for the sake of showing losses in dealing budget, the equation is you know, minus actual loss figures that is LTX and or LFS should be taken as the modulus of the loss. This is RF link budget. As you see here, the first equation is the link budget equation as we just said that gain plus send power minus all the losses. And this, this one is the the path loss which is proportional to the operational frequency f squared. So loss is directly proportional to the square of frequency. So n is equal to 2 free space path loss, loss exp exponent. It varies uh, from 1 to 6. It depends on the environment also. The antenna length is inversely proportional. The d in this d to the power n we are talking about the n is from 1 to 6. The antenna length is inversely proportional to the frequency, right? These are inversely proportional to the frequency. So frequency or is inversely proportional to the antenna length or the area you can say. Antenna gain and link budget. So basic link budget equation where no levels of antenna gain are included assumes that the power spread out equally in all the direction from the source. So this is the source. So this antenna is isotropic, radiating equally in all the directions. And for theoretical calculations, this is good, assumption is good. But in reality, all antennas radiate in some direction, you know, direction more than others. This is the directivity. In addition to this, it is often necessary to use antenna with gain to enable interference from other directions to reduce at the receiver and at the transmitter to focus the available transmitted power in the required direction. The gain figures related to isotropic sources are quoted as dBi, that is dB related to an isotropic source. And gain levels given for an antenna may be gain related to the dipole, where the figures may be quoted as dBd, dB related to dipole. dBi is related to isotropic source. What is the effect of multipath propagation? For true space propagation, such as that in Comfort, Comfort for the satellites, there will be no noticeable reflections and there will be only uh, you know, one major path. For terrestrial system, the signal may reach the receiver via a number of different paths. You know, it may reach like this, it may reach directly like this as a result of reflections, etc. That will occur as a result of the objects around the path. Building, trees, objects around the office and home can all cause reflections that will result in signal variations. So the multipath propagation will cause variations of the signal strength when compared to the calculated from the free space path loss. So if the signal arrive in phase with the directed, directed signal, then the reflected signal will tend to reinforce the directed uh, direct signal. But if they are out of phase, then they tend to cancel out. If either the transmitter or receiver moves, then the signal strength will be seen to vary at the relative strength and phases of the different signals changes. In order to allow this in a link budget, link budget is added into the equation. A link margin is added into the equation to allow for this. Link budget calculations are an essential step in the design of radio communication system. A link budget calculation enables the losses and the gains to be seen. And devising a link budget enables the apportionment of loss, gains and power levels to be made if 
changes need to be made to enable the radio communication system to meet its operational requirements. So only by performing a link budget analysis is this possible. This is just an example of certain software, how the link budget is computed. As you can see, there are certain transmitter unit values, parameters, that is the maximum total power, antenna gain, cable loss, TX loss, same for the, for the receiver and then the RX sensitivity also, receiver sensitivity, antenna gain, cable loss, then the dimensioning, what is the fading margin, all the environment loss, performance gains and then finally you can compute the link margin how because of the attenuation there can be you can calculate the loss and there are various other factors like reliability factors for terrain climate these values also need to be known so combining all these you know because there are pathways path loss fade margin rx specification take specification these needs to be filled in finally to get the actual link margin so this was about link budget and link margin thank you so much take care